Yes, and coming up next in this video, we're gonna be seeing who is Pookie and who is Ray Ray. And just before we go there, if this is your first time to stop by, can please consider hitting the subscribe button and join our awesome family. Also, remember to turn on the notification bell too so that you're notified each and every time any new video is coming up. And to my returning subscribers, thank you so much. I always appreciate all of you. And I don't take you for granted. So let's go straight to this video and find out who is Pookie and Ray Ray. Yo, a lot of people been asking me in my comments, who is Pookie and Ray Ray? I'm about to tell you in full detail exactly who is Pookie and Ray Ray. Let me explain. Pookie and Ray Ray is like two fucking flies that keep flying around your food and you can't catch them and squash them even though they keep laying on your hamburger meat. Pookie and Ray Ray wake up every fucking day looking for people to fuck with and shit to destroy. They might break in your house, your car, or flatten your tire. Or they might go to the grocery store and steal a bag of chips. And if the clerk say something, they call them racist. Pookie and Ray Ray call everybody racist, not just white people. If your skin is too light, you racist. If you're from a foreign country, you racist. But Pookie and Ray Ray do have a car. They tail light and headlight. It's duct tape and glued together. Their windshield is cracked. All their carpet is ripped out. And they have thousands of wires hanging all over the car with big ass salt woofers. That's shaking everybody house. Pookie and Ray Ray love disturbing the peace. Pookie and Ray Ray don't have insurance, ID, license, or registration. And they still drive around with somebody else tag. That lead me to my next point. Pookie and Ray Ray is walking sperm donors. They have babies with most of the women in their neighborhood. And they don't take care of none of them. The women don't bother to put them on child support. Why? Because they have no job, no license, no ID. It's nothing the government can do to fuck with Pookie and Ray Ray life. They can't even lock them up because Pookie and Ray Ray don't have a consistent residence. They sleep somewhere different every night. Looking for Pookie and Ray Ray is a waste of taxpayer dollars. The only time Pookie and Ray Ray see their kids is the first of the month. Why? Because food stamps. Pookie and Ray Ray gotta eat good. Pookie and Ray Ray is destroying the black community. So when I say Pookie and Ray Ray, I'm not talking about all black people. I'm talking about Pookies and Ray Rays. The two fucking flies on the wall that won't die. You fogged your house. All the roaches died, but the two flies on the wall named Pookie and Ray Ray survived. Wow, oh, you just heard it from him. Pookie and Ray Ray. It's like two flies that won't let you do anything. And you just heard him telling us that Pookie and Ray Ray, these are the kind of people. It's like they're deadbeat parents, they're deadbeat fathers. That is why even these women, they can never even put them on child support because they sleep each and everywhere they get. Pookie and Ray Ray. Let's talk about this bullshit real quick. They have no plans of enriching, only taking and being served. All right, so ladies who are in my comment section, I'm going to say something to you. I want you to hear me and hear me clear, okay? We're not talking to you anymore about any of this. I don't think you guys get it. Fellas, I don't think they get it. We're not talking to you anymore about any of this shit. We're not arguing with you. We're not debating with you. We're not trying to change your minds about any of this. There is a, a mass inside of the black women, black female community in America where you guys don't believe in nuclear families. You blame all men for the problems in our community. You catastrophize all relationships and see everything through a negative lens. You have a bad faith assumption about men and think that they're all cheaters and beaters and you know all of this craziness, okay? I am not trying to convince you to think otherwise. I don't care what you think, okay? I'm not trying to change your mind. I'm not trying to get you to fall back in love with us. I'm not trying to get you married. I'm not trying to get you nothing. I'm not talking to you. Y'all don't exist to me anymore, okay? <laughs> I don't care what y'all think. 
the competitive, successful black men that are in America, we're all talking online, all of us. And we've agreed that it's no point in trying to talk with you women about anything. You, If you're 40 plus years old, you got somebody else's kids, you're unmarried, you single independent and you don't need a man. None of us are talking to you anymore. We don't care what you think. So listen, go back to your echo chamber with Cynthia G and women like that. And y'all sit up and talk about how much you hate everybody and be single and buy your dogs and go work for your bosses and start your trucking companies and die alone. We don't care and we're not talking to you anymore. We're not. We The plan is this, okay? Guys like me are giving young men the information so that they can become men of character, right? Guys like me are spreading information between old heads so that we know how to identify and avoid you. And then we're spreading information about what traditional women look like, what they sound like, how they move, how to appropriately marry them, make wives and mothers out of them, and build families and communities with them. You're already out. You've been cut. We don't want it. We're not arguing with you anymore. I don't know if that's... I, I think you think this is an ongoing conversation instead of you trying to talk to somebody who is not trying to reconcile shit with y'all anymore. Okay? There are cooperative, traditionally minded black women that are in America. Those women, we are looking for them, right? There are traditionally minded women of other countries. Those women, we are looking for them. But for you feminist, womanist, modern women who don't believe in gender roles, we're not talking to you. You know what doesn't get talked about enough? Bitter baby daddies. And I fought with myself so hard making this video because I didn't want to put my business out there. Take the higher road. Don't join the circus. I've been quiet for 10 years and it's literally been killing me on the inside. People don't talk about how it affects the child, most importantly, as well as mom. People don't talk about how men can be bitter baby daddies and how they can hate the mother so much that they punish the mother through the child. I don't really care about putting my business out there. For 12 years, my baby daddy has told social media that I just keep his child away from him and he has no clues why and I'm just this bitter bitch who's in love with him. But let's unpack that, shall we? Meet Aaron, my bitter baby daddy. He's a Libra man, so if you know, you know. And I really want to reiterate, this was over 10 years ago and I have evolved well past this point. Aaron has posted things like this for years, insinuating that he is a victim of a woman keeping his child from him. What he doesn't tell you though, Pause the read, come back for part two, because I'm just getting started. Honestly, my biggest issue with the term Pookie, Pookie and Ray Ray is such a way to dismiss um, a lot of our brothers that are in the hood that, you know, may not know any better. They haven't seen any better. They're only doing what they know. And instead of trying to influence them to be better, instead of reaching out a helping hand, instead of mentoring some of the youth who might end up becoming Pookie and Ray Ray and, and uh, turn them into a black, black God, instead of mentoring them into black godhood, we will sit here and rag on them, especially so-called established brothers. My thing is, I want us to step out of you know, giving ourselves degrading names and stop categor categorizing us um, by these terms that white people really have given us. And let's start actively changing the narrative in our community. We know what a lot of these issues are, but how many of us are actively involved in community uh, work, uh, actively involved in the lives of the youth, actively doing something to help enhance the quality of life for the children that will one day be the adults? You know, like, let's stop talking so much shit and let's be about our shit. You know what I'm saying? That's my problem with that Pookie and Ray Ray shit. It's a quick way to dismiss our people. If she's picking Pookie and Ray Ray instead of You're like making John. her a scapegoat. No, she's the, picking a scapegoat. No, 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 no. There's, there's good Can quality men that they ignore. Why she even got it? Why, why, why is there even a Pookie in the selection? You gotta ask something. No, no, no. I'm gonna tell you why there's a pookie in the selection. Why? Because black men have abandoned black boys and have allowed social media, white media, athletes, and rappers to raise them. That's why she went pookie. If we never allow pookie to develop, she would not have a pookie. If we're going to be men, mm -hmm. the first thing we gotta do is take responsibility for why our women feel the way they feel. 
I can I can hear that. I'm not saying that. Yeah. that they're right to disrespect because even if a woman disrespects me, right, mm. that still don't give me a right to disrespect her because she's still the queen of the community. Even if she's not acting like it, I'm going to give her that respect. But when I hear brothers talk like this discourse we have now, yeah, yeah. we act like Let's we don't guys, understand. Let's take guys. We just heard it about Pookie and Ray Ray. Who is Pookie and Ray Ray? It's like they're the they're deadbeat fathers. They're never there for their children. And this is the reason why you even being told, stop having kids, stop having children with Pookies because they're running away from their responsibilities. They won't be responsible fathers. They are deadbeat fathers. This is the reason they're called Pookie and Ray Ray. So guys, thank you so much. Let me catch up next with you in the next reaction. Bye.